What is up guys, Kevin Cage here with another XRP update. We're going to kick things off looking at a few looks of the XRP price chart, look at some other looks by additional analysts, and then we're going to finish up with some very important news. Just like the new board of directors, we have Rosie Rios, served as the 43rd Treasurer of the United States, CEO of the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, and the US Mint, including Fort Knox, and of course we can see her name on the $100 bill right here. These are the caliber of people that are backing the company Ripple, along with the XRP ecosystem. You cannot make this stuff up. Nonetheless, let's take a look at the XRP price chart and see what a few analysts in the XRP community are projecting. Of course, keep in mind, even on April 1st, what was XRP at? 58 cents, 60 cents. We nearly more than tripled and approached two dollars. Even in 2017, going into 2018 at the end of December, it only took three weeks from XRP to blast from 20 cents to three dollars and 84 cents on the highest exchange. And that was even before ODL or X Rapid was even a thing before it was even live. So very exciting times. And yes, Flare Networks is going to be going live shortly. And of course, we can see some additional news and I'll cover it in the next video as well with the SEC potentially nearing settlement sooner than ever. Of course, the chart tells a story. It's going to go up. Everyone's going to say, why is XRP? P pumping it's because it was overdue so right here credible crypto bottom is in send it xrp let's take a quick look just talking about some of these you know waves overall in the corrective waves and now he believes that the bottom could be in and i do agree with this analysis so you know one projection is kind of this little pullback back test and we blast off um nonetheless the story is the same two dollars plus in a relatively quick period and keep in mind this is on the four hour chart so i mean ideally i could be seeing this come through this month especially maybe even in the coming days um, and if you guys haven't seen what some of these other alts are doing, I don't know what to tell you. They are blasting off left and right. XRP just did a 3x last month. Could we do it again? Yes. Okay. And also, if you stretch this out, you can see this beautiful cup and, cup and handle pattern, kind of a double bottom showing this support. And uh, I think it's going to be a classic cup and handle and just blast up. And I'll show you my look in a little bit. Also, blockchain backer pointing this out, XRP fighting the last fib. So I know he was pointing out that we were kind of fighting up and getting to that 702. And historically, during all these bull runs, as he's explained, that is when XRP can potentially get very poppy and bursty. And that is what we're looking for. So another beautiful cup forming. And we're fighting that last fib right there, the retracement, the 786. So keep in mind, yes, we can kind of fluctuate in here, but it is game time and it is almost time to finally pop through, in my opinion. OK, and that's not financial advice. And also. I agreed with Credible Crypto when I saw his right away, and I was just saying it does not tell me it does not look ready for a nice May in June. So just taking a peek at this yet again, this is when the price was a little lower. This cup, we have the golden cross forming with the 9 and 21 coming at the 702, and I know we're steadily pushing up. Now keep in mind, we have the RSI in a very, very good territory. Remember what happened when it did pierce last time? Get this nice bullish continuation. We want that relative strength index to be nice and strong. We want tons of volume to come in and push that price up. Um, of course, you know, even the 1618 for this fib on the four hour would show $2.65. You can see all the way up. Um, I'm sure the 4.236 is much, much higher. Also with the, st uh, the stock RSI, the stochastic, this historically, you can go through a bunch of assets. When this is up here and this RSI pops, this is going to run sideways and this guy just gets a beautiful, beautiful uptrend. So that is what I'm looking for. And then also just a super quick look. Keep in mind that, guys, this is unorthodox. This is XRP on the four hour comparing Zcash on the daily. If you really think it's that simple to just do daily, daily, four hour, four hour, um, you really have to think outside the box a little bit. I'm just simply looking at the patterns. I was already doing traditional TA and I just wanted to look at uh, some of the patterns that could play through. So... Look at this RSI on the four hours discussed. It is getting in that territory. What happened with Zcash? Well, we're just beginning the pierce. And let me remove that so you can see we're just about to get or just about to be piercing. And look at that cup. We're finally pushing up for Zcash, getting above and hitting even those, some of those fib extensions as well on the four hour and daily chart. Yet again, it does look like XRP is forming the same type of structure. Will it be the same? Absolutely not. But will it rhyme? Yes, I do imagine you can go through a variety of assets. You can look at um. You know, EOS, Bitcoin Cash, all of them are getting that nice push. So it is simply a matter of time. So even right here, right here, you know, just say that this little structure right here is something similar to this move. And you cannot look at it like it has to be perfect. Otherwise, you will not see it. You have to have an open mind and allow yourself to see different options. Okay, swing high, swing low. And we're sitting right around there, the 702, 786, ready to pop. Of course, the structure, even the 4.236, shows $5 plus, okay? And yes, I do have high hopes for this bullish cycle. Come on, I, I've literally watched VeChain do an 80X, and XRP hasn't even gotten started. So nothing's too good to be true, guys, and that is what I'm essentially imagining for the future. So 
keep an eye on that and I want that stochastic to run sideways. You can change the daily, whatever you want and play with it. And keep in mind guys, there are some amazing, amazing assets that have yet to even hit a $1 billion market cap. Look at Doge, 77, almost $78 billion. You're telling me that some of those assets in the top 400 that are at 100 million, 200 million, 500 million, even like Quant, QNT, how are they under a billion? That is a joke. This Martian, this, I almost said Martian, this market is irrational for now, but in the years ahead, utility will drive this market. There's still gonna be speculation, but as we get more risky, if you make 100X off an investment pretty quickly, me personally, not financial advice, I'm going to be either taking profits or rolling it into an asset that I believe will be here in the years ahead, such as XRP, QNT, HBAR, etc. So that is just how I'm playing this market. I don't want to gamble in this market. It is already risky enough. So just a matter of time, I imagine that many other assets will. And keep in mind, this is the first time in history where even assets in the top 100 all have a $1 billion plus market capitalization. Love to see it. RSR, I still think it's undervalued, at least for the years ahead. Um, I mean, come on. So just wanted to point that out, okay? Now let's get into some additional news. Um, actually, right here, I did want to show this. So Zerpy's shown just in ascending channel. I know how this ends, just kind of replying to me. And... Of course, so whether this happens now or later, I believe this is inevitable, and this is not financial advice, guys, one man's opinion, but just a you know big ascending channel, of course, for XRP's history on the weekly on Bitstamp. And you can see, I mean, projections, whether it's months or years ahead, I mean, you could make the argument, even with fibs, of 50 to $60. So someday, somehow, yes, I absolutely believe it. Could it happen tomorrow? I sure hope so, but we will cross that bridge when we get there. And of course, you could even do the XRP BTC chart. You're seeing Bitcoin, if it keeps going up, awesome i want alt season to keep going i want this market to grow but nonetheless our alts are going to gain dominance we've just been in a multi-year bear market essentially of this huge dissension coiling up and it is game time xrp still has to reach that all-time high just like every other asset has done this is simply an algorithm my job is easy i just have to hold and wait i'm not trading leverage i'm just doing buying and holding swing trading rotating profits when necessary you have to do what's best for you okay so Congrats to Bitso. I know you guys know Bitso. So Forbes has reported that Mexico-based digital exchange Bitso, remember they're responsible for, of course, the ODL between the Mexican peso and the US dollar, which received an investment from the Ripple giant back in October 2019, has turned into the first crypto unicorn. Remember, a unicorn just is a company that has a valuation of $1 billion. Now, Ripple, of course, is considered a decacorn, meaning 10 billion dollar plus and of course i'd imagine it's much more because that valuation was in 2018 and of course xrp's value is well above a dollar now so the market capitalization of the exchange which has surpassed 2.2 billion after it secured 250 million in a series c investment round beautiful and even shared by bank xrp must follow on twitter now Things that you should know, especially if you're brand new, is Digital Currency Group, essentially the parent company of all cryptocurrency, they invested in Bitso. So they're backing it as well, no surprise, Bitwalla, we've talked about them. And of course, they back other groups and even articles that we know, like Coindesk, Coinbase, Kraken, oh, and also Ripple. So very small world, we're going to be paying attention to this in the future. I'll just kind of scroll through this. We know Grayscale and their investment trusts, um, Hedera. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, Zen, Horizon, that asset's just been pumping like crazy. So, you know, I pay attention to, you know, who they're looking at, Live Peer, um, you know, Filecoin, all these other assets. So very, very interesting, and I'm wishing them well. Let me just pull up Ripple really quick. So right there, Ripple, and then, of course, one of my all-time favorites is API3. So wishing them well as well. Next, we have this. This is shared by Demor Sahami, so thank you for the tag. Look what he was doing. So he's uh, creeping around on LinkedIn as always. Demore's a great researcher. And we can see that he found this gentleman, Toby Thompson. So let's see, credit infrastructure, insurance, derivatives, and DeFi decentralized finance, Cambridge University, Flare Network. So senior advisor, Capital Markets, June 2018, present for three years, developing the Flare Network, the smart contract platform for Ripple with scalable consensus and quantum proof encryption. Now, what was the woman's name? I'll have to go back to Flair's website, but I remember last year in 2020 in the summer, everybody's going crazy about it because she had um, like a degree in like something related to, uh, you know, quantum and stuff. So, you know, not surprising one bit, guys, but just wanted to share that. And then I believe somebody showed that he changed it. Let me see. What did he say? Yeah. So this gentleman, 
He's changed it now to developing the Flare Network, bringing touring complete smart contracts to XRP. So very interesting. And of course, we can see that the actual, uh, you know, mutual friend is Marjan Dunlatine. She was originally selling Swift to GPI and then came to work for Ripple. I forget where she's at now, but she is an amazing, amazing woman in this industry. Okay. Now, also, digital asset investor, I wanted to play this clip. This is, of course, Rosie Rio. So let's just listen to this 10 seconds, and then we're going to call it a day and also mention something that you guys could take part in. All right. I am the first person to be the chair of the Advanced County for Deterrence Steering Committee, which is the only formal collaborative that exists between Treasury, the Secret Service, and the Federal Reserve to provide recommendations to the Secretary on the future of currency. I am the first person to be to provide recommendations on the future of currency. And of course, you know, FinCEN and the Department of Justice in 2015 called XRP a virtual currency. Um, I'm telling you, XRP is not a security, even if it was sold like a security, like the majority of assets that were sued by the SEC years ago, they're going to get a slap on the wrist, they pay their fines, and XRP continues on. Once clarity is here, that glass ceiling will be gone. Do not call us lucky. They're going to call us lucky. XRP is going to pump one day like crazy. People are going to say, what's the news? What's the news? You have to be here before that. I know Bearable Bull was saying that, and I completely agree. They're always going to say, oh, there's a reason for it. Guys, this is a massive algorithm and as utility begins to drive this market this game is going to be different forever the opportunity or the window of opportunity is closing and last but not least guys i will retweet this for anybody that's interested so i'm just doing a 500 vat v chain giveaway you just have to retweet this tweet and there's also the pin tweet below and i'll announce the winner tonight actually it's all gonna great i know i've given away xrp so just wanted to switch it up today and i will catch you in the next video